disaster averted. Polius here on take two of part two of Let's Play Warsaw. I had started this a little while ago, 16 minutes in, realized, oh, my mic is out of place. Whoops. Fortunately, I had saved the game in two different ways. One of those ways didn't work, but the other did, so we are able to start right back where we were. Now, we are busy trying to take out these enemies here with Garrett to get him leveled up so he's more effective. Right now he's only level one? Really? Huh. Um, enemies already broken through here, and this guy has decided to come around and play with us. Well, we'll see about that. Now, one of the mistakes I'd made actually was using Baldurov against this guy prematurely. And I'm not going to be making that mistake again. Yeah, I know, save's coming, save's coming. But, honestly, if you can't learn from your mistakes, then you have a problem. So, the other thing I'm going to do... I'm going to move Baldurov right here. Block him off, but block the enemy off from the water. Because they're going to be coming up. I don't want them to be able to get to the water. And this is impassable terrain for non-flying units. I think that's what the gray means. Let me check. Because this is also... Yeah. So this, the gray in the bottom left color where it shows the terrain it means it's impassable. Alright. Now. Move this gentleman down here. Do I want to? I think he'll kill the guy. Which I'm in entirely supportive of. Make it so, number one. Well, actually, I guess those guys are red shirts. My mistake. I'm sorry. Terrible Star Trek reference. What are you gonna do? This guy is gonna move. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, this guy's good enough to move into... Uh, he can't either. Call yourselves infantry, you can't even move through rough terrain. Move here. So these guys have... Does it say how much movement they've got? No, it doesn't. I don't think they have a whole lot of movement in the land, though. On the land. Well, you know, much less in the land. Move this guy down here. Tiburon, I want you to fight. Right. And we'll move this man down here. And this guy. Oh. What's the archer attack? I feel like I could take that archer out. I'm not going to risk it. Center move. Soldier here. And uh, soldier here. And that's right, one of the other things I did is I went to command for Garrett and switched it to manual so I don't have to keep micromanaging all of these guys every single turn. Alright, that's my turn. I'm sticking to it. Unless recording happens, but checking sound files, checking time. Looks like everything's working out pretty well. The one thing that does suck is the enemy fireball on the king. That guy, uh, the bishop over there. And I just realized when I uh, was doing my re review of the video last night, I had not said bishop very clearly. So it did not sound like I was saying a very uh, respectful position of the church, and I apologize for that. But no, he is a bishop, not a female dog. His fireball had the range to kill Tiburon's mermaid, which was fantastic because it meant Tiburon would have been able to been forced to actually engage. I wish that had been the way. Baldur, if you kill that guy, I will be very displeased. Foul play, sir. Foul play. I guess you know, I kind of earned that given my position. No, oh well, I don't think he can actually. I think he has as many attacks as. No, he doesn't have as many attacks as he has health, but...
Alright. Can you move into position where Baldurov is? You cannot. However. Can you? You cannot. I want to kill that guy. I'm going to risk it. For great justice, go! Now those lizard men do have a lot of attack, but they're also, they also don't get, I don't think they get land bonus. I do not think, I don't think they get like the 40% bonus from fortifications. Move. There. Attack! I do love these little animations. I know they're silly, and I know a lot of people for games like Fire Emblem or Advanced Wars like to skip them. I think they add something to the game. Alright. Sir, you are going to treat. Let's see. Move. Soldier there. Move a soldier up here. Move a man down there. Now, if worse comes to worse, I can break out and just make a run for it. Good job, mermaids. May you die with honor as the, the Klingons of old. Oh god, did I make the Star Trek reference this video or the, the aborted one? Ah, oh, dear. Everything is melting together. Time and space is confused. Sorry, I, I decided though that it, was, it would be better just to totally restart the video rather than... Rather than try to just pass off something where you could barely hear my voice. It didn't seem terribly professional. I'm not sure if this is going better or worse. I think it's going worse, because I've already lost some of the experience from the lizard man. I'm going to lose those guys, too. Yep. So they, I do believe they then get the defense bonus. Baldorov, please don't kill them. Please be a gentleman here. Good man. I'm proud of you. Now what I'm going to do for Baldi here. Move him one over. I'm just going to you know, slide to the left. Oh, fantastic. Didn't lose a single guy. Now do I want to attack them? They'll get the defense bonus. I think it is better to not risk it. Move soldier here. And move soldier here. I think that'll be my turn. Now, this guy might come after Baldorov, which would be terribly unfortunate. Tiburon, why won't you attack anyone? He'll probably go after Tiburon's merman. Alright, now here I had mentioned that the guardsmen don't tend to do very well. And pretty much in the same case, you know, they managed to kill that guy. The thing about Guardsmen is they're really good against most monsters, because the, that club that it looks like they have, you gotta use your imagination. It's actually a torch, and they just, you know, kill it with fire. Oh, good. I don't think he took any damage, which is, you know, not ideal. So I've definitely already lost a lot more men, which I'm I'm not happy about. Yeah. I like to you actually do get points, bonus points. You basically get a refund on the the cost of the soldier if the soldiers come back alive. Which, you know, I mean it makes a sort of logistical sense, oh dear. Ah. 
Uh, and I think that guy is, is he in position to be, he is not. Which means that I'm probably gonna lose him. Um, he, if I don't lose him, he's gonna be at like one health. I called it. I'm pointing in the air right now with, you know, puerile pride at my ability to predict the future of a game that has a fairly predictable AI. Alright, well, let's move you there. Hopefully you won't be killed by fire elementals. Move you here. So those are just... There we go, now I'm level 3. Yeah, I forgot how quickly Garrett level... Uh, little level characters level up here. Alright. Try something out here. <laughs> oh, Alright, uh, treat. Uh, if I can get him at least a bit lower. Yay! So he will treat this turn. Which is good, because that means that I can treat my men. And. Hopefully Tiburon will actually engage. Sir, you are useless. Fireball from Kalei. Yeah, here we go. This I, I remember this happening in the last video. Uh, excuse me one second. Sorry, I had to cough. Uh, remember, you know, saying, yeah, the guardsmen aren't going to do too well here, and in an even fight, they got wiped out. Oh! The soldiers got a kill on the fire elementals. Destruction? Or, I guess you can't really kill a fire elemental. Sorry, the dog is probably barking at the mailman. Alright, yep, see, he treated, even though he could have wiped out, probably would have. Eh, no, I guess he couldn't have. Garrett, I pray that you survive. And again, I should have read him as Sean Connery. But hey, he's the fa he's you know the father figure in a fantasy setting. He's not going to be around much longer, which is a shame. It's kind of like with Disney movies. You've got either you know the parents either not appearing in the film due to like dying of off-screenitis or something. I was really happy when I saw. Uh, it sound, makes me sound like a terrible person. I really liked in Frozen where they, you actually saw the parents on screen, and then you see why they weren't around anymore. It, you know, it made a difference. Okay. This guy needs to move here. Valdorov, please do a bunch of damage. That was not the bunches of damage I was hoping for. Alright. thinking I want to maximize how much with the soldiers I have. So I'm going to move this guy here. Move this guy here. I'd love to attack this guy again. But you know, I don't think it was 40%. Let's, let's assume that it actually affects attack and not just defense. And I could be looking at it on the screen. So that's 40% of 22. You know, 10% of that is 2.2 times 4 is 4.4. .4, so potentially has about 26. So 
yeah, I guess that is why he's getting over the defense. But, you know, this is entirely, uh, is that a, that's a lore, no wonder. That's entirely speculative. Alright, at the very least I'm going to sacrifice the soldier. I want to have people closer to 10, because it's better to, in my opinion, it's better to have people who are at higher, higher health, less people at higher health than more people. Oh, thank you, Tibby. Thank you, Tibbs. I'm Tiburon, you must first defeat me to go any further. Or he can just slip around you like he did Kalei. Oh man. Oh man. Go for it, dude. Go for it. It's sick moves. Kalei is gonna... You see, had the king attacked, he could have wiped out that fire elemental, but he had mana, so he was like, Yeah, I'll cast a spell. I'll cast magic missile. And that is one of the aspects of the AI that we will learn to exploit. And yeah, so usually it works in our favor, but in this case, it, made, it could have made the battle go a lot more smooth, a lot, lot more smoothly. Sorry, you know, someone who prides himself as studying language in college and has to stop and think about a simple sentence. Fa fantastic, right? All right. You, sir. Treat. You. I'm gonna move here. Move here. I don't think it's gonna do much. As in anything. Wow, that was... That was really d disappointing. Um, I think Baldurov will be alright. It's actually really bad. Maybe this guy will go after, uh, after the merman. We'll see. I didn't get any kills on him. Oh shoot, I forgot to move one of the injured guys. Well, that was, that was very poor on my part. Oh, is that Garyon? Ha! Cool. We fight that guy later. Spoiler alert. Yeah, so I... Yeah, they do definitely have less attacks. Oh, oh he used heal. Yeah, lords have uh, healing magic. Which... Um, I'll be making extensive use of. Fantastic work, Mr. King, Your Highness. Now, if the king can actually mess up those, that bishop... Oh, dear. Treat. Uh, I'm not going to attack. That's... That is not a strategy I shall be employing. I would love, love to be able to get... See, I wish, one of the functions I wish that you could have, something I really like in Civ 5, is you can select a unit like that and they will shuffle and switch positions. Alright, I'm gonna move here. Yes. 
No sir, you are not attacking. Alright, that merman will get healed up and I think he'll then attack again. We'll see. Oh, Clay's getting into the fight. Don't know if that was the best choice. Well, he did treat. Come on, Kalei. Nope, she's out. She too will return in a later mission. Come on, guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do love how these animations play out sometimes. It is it is a lot of fun to watch. Um, I don't think I will be skipping through them. I don't even know if you can, actually. He's going to attack my soldier. The soldier's probably gone. Oh. Make that man a knight. Alright. here. Because you get a lot of experience for killing an enemy lord. Again, he could have killed an enemy. Granted, I mean, enemy soldier. What, what? Oh, that's unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. But now, see, the enemy bishop is out of. Uh, Yeah, and I, I intentionally sacrificed him. I think I can do this. I think I can actually take that Serpent Knight out, because we do have uh, Tiburon available. Treat. Garrett, you're going to treat. Yeah! Go get him! Oh. Oh no. Well, here's to being lucky. I believe Julius Caesar or Napoleon, someone, said that luck was as important to a general as uh, skill. It's been a while and, uh, mil and those quotes tend to flow together. For, you know, Julius Caesar and Napoleon are kind of like uh, Ben Franklin and Mark Twain when it comes to military, or Ben Franklin and Mark Twain and military quotes. You know, if you want it to sound witty or brilliant, you just attribute it to them. I 
Alright, so the king is totally surrounded. Fortunately, he's on a really defensible position. We, however, are not. Alright. said, worst comes to worst, I'll just make a break for it. And I, I still think I can make the escape. Again, he could have wiped out a fire elemental. Well, I guess at five, you wouldn't have wanted, you would have wanted to treat, so. Yeah, just take, take my complaining with a grain of salt. Oh, wow, we're already at 26 minutes? I take too long. I'm sorry. Might move to more than one video a day if just to actually make this game happen. Hey, look how persistent they were. And fortunately nothing came of it. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Actually, a fairly good position for a counterattack. I'm gonna go a bit over, maybe go over a bit of 30 minutes because I want to actually. Now, if we're feeling crazy and we actually did get this Serpent Knight with a few soldiers left over, I would sally out. But I don't think I know this game's mechanics enough to actually pull that off. So we'll probably stick with the, the simple bare necessities. Please do some damage to this guy. Or, you know, at least survive. That works too. Let's see. I want to attack that guy from defensive ground. 25 to 31, well, 22 to 31, so even a 15% defense bonus doesn't really help all that much. Now what I can do Let me think about this. I want this guy right here. I want Baldorov right here. So I need to move Garrett here. This man here. Here. No, 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 no. There. Uh, 
I think that'll work. Oh. Oh. Alright, so that, that Garyon Lord is going to heal up. Again, I would have, you know, attacked the Fire Elementals or something. But... You know. Unfortunately, I can't control the king. Yet. Alright, I figured he was going to go after that. So... If I were thinking, I actually would have... Uh, I could have done that better. Alright. Get him. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm thinking hard about this. Uh, I should have, I should have, I could have done that so much better. One more turn, I swear. Well. Oh. The King vs. Garyon. See, I'd love to swoop in and take Garyon out and get some, uh... Get some more experience. I think I'm just gonna have to run. The king certainly is holding out. I think, had I actually done that better, if I had put the weaker guy on the, the parapet here, and then moved Baldurov into position there, I think I would have been able to pull this off. As it stands... As it stands, I'm gonna run. I'll go ahead and keep playing the, keep playing the video then just to uh, finish it off, so hopefully we can keep each episode within two, two or three parts. Oh lordy, run for it. Infantry trying to outrun cavalry. If this works, I am a master of the strategic withdrawal. Can you really not? Does he have a zone of control or? Oh, that's is that deep water? That is interesting. Deep water is, I believe that infantry can go on it, but it costs like you know most of their move. But I'm going to position these guys here so that I. You know, he has to go either the long way around or kill one of them. I mean, they're peasants. It's their job to die. Yeah, 
Yeah, and see, the king is actually slowly winning that fight. If I were just a bit more confident, I'm sure that we probably, and a bit more lucky, we probably could do something about that. I say that, and then he starts losing a million health. A million being three. Like I said, I went into language for college. I didn't do math. Which, you know, totally excuses hyperbole. Oh, hey, I might actually get the reward for that guy surviving. Now, Serpent Knight looks awesome, but he's actually not. Basically, like I, I mentioned, the tiers, like, you know, Fighter, Garrus Case Lord, then, say, Magic Knight, or Think King. This guy is upgraded from the Crocodile Knight, which is not upgraded from anything. So, it goes Crocodile Knight, Serpent Knight. Which means, you know, if you have a choice, you can do so much better with other stuff. Father, I will return with the reinforcements from Silverus. You can count on me. And we beat it. They got a fair number of kills in. Got some bonus points for not for not losing everyone. And got the clear bonus. So, you know, not bad. We're at, you know, 350. I don't think we got, actually got any bonus points looking at that. So we had about 30 last time. Save the data, yes, please. Alright. This has been a lot of fun. Please, if you know, watching the video, leave a comment or a like so that I can get some more, uh, I can get higher up the search bar, and it just encourages me to keep doing this. This has been Polyus playing Warsong, signing off for next time. See you later.